the most talked about town, talk about thing right now is about space elevators. So the concept is you anchor in your base on Earth, somewhere at sea, or in this case he said in the North Pole, but somewhere at sea, where you have a base station, and you put an anchor in outer space where it will be geostationary, which is probably about 36,000 kilometers away from Earth, no? up directly up above you, where it's, it will move around. It will move along with Earth. And all you do is that you have this cable that will bring you up and down. But that concept there, uh, it's been talked about in the last five years. No? Uh, the only problem with this concept right now is that or basically the two problems is that we don't have a material yet that is strong and light enough to carry loads and there isn't uh, nobody has yet been able to manufacture 36,000 kilometers long of that material yet but that has been the talk of the town in the last five years space elevators this is not something that is possible although there the Japanese are working hard on this, and they say by 2050, 2050, 20, 2050, this will be a reality. Uh, we'll have to wait for that when that comes in. And hopefully you'll be there to see it. No? Okay. <laughs> Next. But going to reality, this, uh, the one that's most famous right now is Virgin Galactic. And the concept here of Virgin Galactic is that it's a two-stage airplane system wherein you have first an airplane that will lift your ship up into space, no? like that, and basically drop off the tail. This is the tail end. They say that you will be rocketed into outer space. Okay? You'll be rocketed to outer space, and this is the view that you probably see at the back. No? Now, you spend about a few minutes in outer space in weightlessness. The capacity of this ship is about six people, okay? Excluding, I think, excluding the pilots. You have the opportunity to take off your seat belts and float in outer space and look through the view of Earth. Uh, okay? And then after that, you will glide down back to Earth gently, no? Okay? So... This is the tail end. Let's just finish this so you have an idea. You have a few view of how it means that what they're offering here. Now, if you notice, the tail end is moving up already. Uh, so basically means that it's now going to drift down. So it's going to go down like that, but the tails, the rudders, the tail rudders are now coming down with it down. Okay. So this is a new technology already. They have, this is, this is a copy, you can find this in YouTube. This is a, something that they, this is their second test flight image. They have done a third test flight. And they're expected to be in commercial, uh, they're, they're expected to be already in commercial, commercially available already by supposed to be this year, if not this year, next year. In fact, it's easy to tell you, uh, as of last year, based on the date, date and, uh, it's based on what information we gathered, uh, there already has been 600 people waiting in line already who has reserved to go up there. Uh, you can include Justin Bieber as one of them who has paid his way up there. You put in a down payment, you have to put in a down payment of $20,000. Okay, that's down payment. The actual cost for this experience for them, what they're asking for, is actually at, at least $200,000. So this is $200,000, or in Philippine pesos, you can say that's about 10 million pesos, okay, for this experience. Okay, next slide. If you want something cheap, cheaper, Ah, no? If you want something cheaper, although it's not yet ready, ready developed, they have come up with, there's another company named Xcore. No? Xcore, what they've done, they're also some, they're, they, they have developed a two-seater plane. 
okay, our two-seater space shuttle, where it would take off from the ground and shoot directly up to outer space. And then you land, you, and then you will be able to control yourself out there for a while, fly out for a while, and then you land back or glide back to Earth. Okay, that's just one ship. No? The price tag for that ship, for that ride, is either ninety-five thousand to hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that's a lot. No, problem is is that they haven't done their test launches yet. No? Okay, and they're expected to be out already, they're expected to be out flying maybe in 2016. Okay? So that's a concept. You can go to its website and it can see, this is it's from one of its websites, it says there, you can now purchase a ticket to aboard, to, to space aboard the Lynx. That's the name of their ship, okay? For $100,000. Actually, there are two ships. The Lynx 1 and the Lynx 2. The Lynx 1 will cost you 95000 the Lynx 2 will be about 100000 Okay? So if you're interested to fly, want to learn, this is one of them. On a cheaper scale, next slide. No? On the cheaper scale, I just saw this initially, uh, just recently, there's this company called Worldview. Now its concept, instead of using uh, jet thrusters and all these jet, jet rockets, all these things, what it does now, it uses a balloon. And, and very, very large balloon no? that will lift you up into outer space. No? Outer space. It will lift you up to outer space. No? Well, there's some music that goes along with it, but uh, I can't put it there together. No? Okay? So it's a one giant balloon. No? It will take you almost to the tip of the stratosphere and eventually release you and you will just parachute back to Earth. Uh, they, they did their test. They did their test already recently, no? And it has been a success. I think two months ago they did a test, and then they, they said that the, uh, they made a scale model one tenth the size of that, and the results they said was promising. Uh, just yesterday or the other day, I just saw over the internet that. This or not, that this techno, uh, that they, this company has now gotten the approval of the uh, FAA for Federation of Air Air uh, Airspace Administration, no? okay, to fly. No? They have already gotten the go signal. They have gotten the certificate, no? okay. So this one seems to be close. I mean, it's, a, it's very possible already. We expect to see this to happen soon, no? okay? Maybe in another two, three years time, okay? So the idea is to be back, land back down to Earth. I hope you land back. My only com comment about this: I hope you land back where you took off or near that area. I don't know how you're gonna land back. How do you control yourself landing through a parachute coming down? Okay? So that's world view. No? Price tag is about seventy-five thousand dollars. Cheaper than, no? Okay, no? Kaya nyo yan, no? Worth more, mas kaya nyo no? Okay, next. Of course, the next concept now, the first concept was getting out there. This next concept is basically, what do you do to get out there? Oh, by the way, I missed out a while, a while ago. Uh, if you're not, if you're really eager to go out to outer space and live in ISS, in the International Space Station, uh, the only country that you can go to and who is willing to accept your money to go for you to go to outer space is Russia. Okay? You have to pay them $30 million just to go to outer space. And as I said earlier, there have been already at least five individuals who have paid themselves to do that. No? One of them, I remember, is a guy who is the owner, who is the, uh, what do you call this? One who is providing the free software, free operating system, Ubuntu. No? Mark Shuttleworth. No? Another guy who's been up there is a guy who was... Uh, the, the founder of Circus de Soleil. No? 
there's like a slave, huh? okay? He's done that already. I think there's a guy from Microsoft Yata who's done it also, no? so I'm not sure anymore. But there are about five already who's done it. No? So you pay Russia $30 million and you can get your flight up there. Now if you look at this, $30 million against the cheap, the most expensive there is $200,000. That's still cheap. That's much cheaper than $30 million. No? Except that at the end of the day, to all of us it's still astronomical in value. Okay. If that's not enough, no. living in a space hotel is the next concept. That instead of taking your vacation in Boracay, or if you want to go to Phuket, or whatever beach that you want to go into, why not spend it in space? No? The concepts are there. One is saying that on the left side you see what they do is they bring up a module to outer space, and then inflate it so you have more room in there. No? It's a balloon capsule. The others are basically showing the capsules, the concept capsules, and then the space station, which will be used also as a place to, uh, for your, how do you call that, for as an emergency place to hide and place, as an emergency getaway in case there's an emergency in the ISS or any other station. Okay? Next. Now, before I move on, there's actually, I have actually a, you know, a video there that I'd like you to see, listen to. But before I move on, if you think that's impossible, there are just two things I want, there are two technologies I want to share with you that I came across recently. The first one is this. It says there, weird crystal can absorb all the oxygen in the room and then release it later. What does this mean in terms of technology? If this technology can be accept, can be done already, it would mean that we could now store oxygen instead of a large tank, we can now shrink it down to a small, smaller space. If we can store oxygen in a cubic foot or in a bottle in powder form, that might be a lot better and a lot cheaper transport the outer space. Then they also say that this oxygen, if you expose it to heat, it will release the oxygen to you. Right now, the only way how they produce oxygen in the, how do you call that, uh, in the space stations is through elect electrolysis. Water is, you put current into water, so that it will, prove, you know, it will create, split the atoms, hydrogen and oxygen, and you'll have oxygen in your, uh, in your space station. But this technology, if this is really true, it would mean that it will make space, you know, space travel cheaper, bring supplies into space cheaper, okay? And next one, the, other next, the next technology would be interesting too, is that we came across this, coming soon, Filipino food in space. The concept is that you, they are trying to cook food in outer space. Food that you eat in outer space is basically mostly frozen or dehydrated. Here's the opportunity to cook food in outer space already. And it's you know, one of the Filipinos that's actually leading that program, or working in that program at least. No? Okay? So you can see that. They're now being finding a way how to cook food in outer space. That if you go to outer space and live in a hotel, you can now have warm food. No? Okay, I won't say too long. Uh, let me pass the mic down to the computer so that you can hear what they're going to say on the next slide. No? It's a video. Go ahead.
okay. Uh, I guess the speaker's too little, too too weak to hear anything. But basically, here it is. It's now being, how do you call that? Being promoted. A space hotel is being promoted, and you are going to be invite. They are inviting people to go to go to space and eat there. And they're trying to say that it's very luxurious. You will have your own shower. You'll be more spacious, and uh, and of course, going there, you have the best view in the world. The price tag that you have to pay though is at about $60 million. You know? $60 million at the end of the day. You know? So it's interesting to see that. You know? And this guy here is supposed to be the first space tourist to be going up to experience that. Okay, So he's being trained to go up to outer space. You know? All right, next slide, please. You know? So uh, just about to finish it, space tourism, our space explore and our space travel is now having its change now. As I said earlier, it's becoming more commercial now. Uh, the private in, private enterprises are now getting into this, and because of this thing uh, and the technology now trickling down, it's becoming more and more for the masses now. You know? Maybe it will not be as cheap as what we think it will be right now, but maybe in the future. Like as it becomes, as many, many more competitors come in, prices will come down. Okay, but for now, instead of one traveling to get a view like these, you have Mount Mayon, you have Mount Banahaw, and Mount uh, Bulag up there in a beach, beach front. No, I guess what they want, you know, people are now willing to pay the price. Things like these, no? that people are now willing to pay the price already to have a view of the view, view of the Earth already. No? So I end you with this, uh, maybe as a something to to give you some interest that one day you will be able to afford to go and take a space travel and stay in a space hotel and see this view from your window. Okay, so I end you with that. Thank you very much. Uh,